I went to check on my sister's machine yesterday and it had a vacuum leak and so um, it had the display of the vacuum, the failure. So failure to achieve vacuum or to keep vacuum, whatever it says, I don't remember it. And I didn't have a picture of it. Anyway, her whole seal was completely ice covered. It couldn't achieve vacuum because of that. So I opened it, cleaned all that, resealed it, and then started it. And then it was going down nicely. Uh, but it seemed a little bit slower than normal, so I checked the drain hose, the drain valve, by putting the hose in a container of water, and very slowly it started to come up. So I turned the valve tighter, and it seemed okay, and it achieved vacuum, but to make sure that that wasn't a problem, I put a clamp on the end of the hose. And... We'll kind of zoom in on this and see this. So I put a clamp on the end of the hose. Okay, so there's the valve on hers. On the machine. Anyway, I clamped the end of the hose to make sure that air wasn't coming in. And then continued the drawdown on it. It achieved vacuum. Uh, let's see, it achieved 2,500 millitors in about four minutes, four and a half minutes. Uh, maybe it's three and a half minutes. Anyway, we didn't record it because everything went so well. And then it achieved 500 in about seven and a half minutes, which seemed about a minute slower than typical for the 500, but it seemed okay. I checked the hose, so I decided I'd clamp it to make sure. And a couple hours later, it was still round. It had not squished down, so it wasn't having a big enough leak uh, to notice that amount of air in a couple hours. Well, I come back and check it today, and that thing's flat as a run-over snake. Um, it is, it has a very slow leak at the valve. So, at least to the people that have wanted us to have a vacuum leak, now we can finally try taking that valve apart and cleaning it, and showing the alternative that I've considered since we first got a freeze dryer, which is to eliminate the valve completely and just put a rubber stopper in the end of the hose with a hose that is stout enough so that it doesn't collapse. Kind of like this hose here. When her machine is done and we start doing some stuff with it, I'll come back and show you what we're going to do with that. So after she's done using her machine, uh, at some point I'll tear that valve off of there, clean it out, and we'll see if we can make it better. Uh, and also change the drain hose out to a stiffer hose that won't collapse under vacuum and have a rubber stopper that we can just simply put in it. That's kind of been my thought since the beginning. If the valve ever went bad on mine, I would just put a rubber stopper in it. It's only 15 PSI, it's not a big deal. Uh, and I wouldn't have to worry about leaks or valves or anything. So I was really surprised to see what a small leak it was because it went down just fine to below 400s, uh, I think 300s, 370 or something. And so it seemed like it was doing perfect. Right now it's 161, so of course even lower. But as far as I can tell, there must be an incredibly small leak through that valve. We'll check it later and find out what we can do about it.